Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chef John and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some amazing oxtails on the RTB 380 Bullseye. We'll burn those Rectech Ultimate Blend pellets. I've got the grill set to 500 degrees and I already put a Dutch oven on there and we're going to cook the oxtails in there. Let's get it. Alright guys, and these are the ingredients you're going to need. All right guys, we're going to go ahead and start with julienning up some onions. Just a real quick slice on those. We're going to rough chop some celery, and then we're going to go ahead and rough chop some carrots for our mirepoix. Set those to the side. Now i got some seasoned flour here, garlic, salt, pepper, onion powder, uh, and these are the oxtails if you've never seen an oxtail before. The thicker pieces are the pieces that are closest to the cow, and the smaller pieces are the ones that are further down the tail. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll these in this seasoned flour and we're just gonna make sure that we get a coating of that flour over each one of those oxtails. Then we're gonna let them rest in that flour for about 10 minutes, making sure that that flour adheres to the oxtails. All right, we got 500 degrees on the bullseye. Got a, a Dutch oven in here. We're gonna go ahead and put some olive oil in and then start to put our oxtail in there. That flour sticking on there really nice. We're gonna go ahead and give these a brown. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil to it. We're just gonna start browning these off. Let them cook for about 10 minutes. We're gonna come back in here, start rolling them around, making sure that we get each side golden brown and delicious. That's right, that's what we're looking for right there. All right, so we're gonna let these cook. Shut the lid, let them cook for another 15 minutes. Come back to them. You can see that they've already started to get a nice little bit of color on them. So we're just gonna keep rolling these around. That's right, exposing those uncooked sides to that oil, trying to get a nice crust on these. We'll let them cook for about another 15 minutes. And guys, look how brown and delicious these things look. Those are perfect, okay? At this point, you wanna go ahead and start to remove the oxtail. Take them off, put them on a sheet pan, and just stick them to the side, because we gotta go ahead and saute up these vegetables. That's right. All right, so that pan is still nice and hot. We're gonna dump in our onions. Give those a nice stir around. Mm, the celery, get that in there, moving, working. That's right. And then our carrot. We're gonna let that cook, stir it around. We're gonna let it cook for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back to it. So it's been about 15 minutes. Let's get back in here. You can see how the carrots and onions have already started to wilt down. So we're gonna go ahead and throw in some garlic. Let that cook up. We're really trying to let these things get really soft. Once they start to get soft, we're gonna go ahead and add two bottles of red wine your favorite red wine, get it in there. That's right, then we're gonna go ahead and start adding the oxtail back to the pot. Now we're gonna go and make sure that these oxtails are about covered about three quarters of the way in liquid. That's perfect amount. And we're gonna keep the water level, liquid level, at that level. So we're gonna go ahead and cook these for about an hour, come back after the first hour and look at them. They look great. They've evaporated a little bit, the liquid has, so we're gonna add a little bit of beef stock to it, come back in another hour and check it. So this is the second hour. You can see how they've started to take on more color, how the liquid in the pot has gotten nice and thick. We're gonna let them go for about another hour and see how they do. All right, so this is the third hour. Man, they have gotten nice and dark. That liquid has gotten really thick. And you can see how it's evaporated. So we're gonna add a little bit more beef stock to it, bring that liquid level back up to the top of those oxtails and let them go for another hour. All right, so this is it. Third hour, guys, and these things look absolutely amazing. They're nice and tender. You can see that they've gotten nice and dark, that mahogany color, they're absolutely perfect. That's what they look like coming off, man oh man. So I've got some mashed potatoes here, just really quick mashed potatoes. What we're gonna do is just take these delicious oxtails, put them right over the top with some of that carrot, the onion, the celery, some of that delicious red wine juice. Man, this looks perfect. Now it's time for that Rec Tech bite. Let's get it in, baby, mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, that tastes so good, guys. Come on now. Guys, make sure you're following me on all social media. I'm Chef John. And until then, we'll see you at the Rec Tech.